Hello everyone, it's the Divine Perfectionist and welcome to my first ever YouTube video on this channel. To start off, let me just say I am a complete green bean newbie at animation. I usually do 2D animation, so if you are here, you are a beginning animator and you want to learn, we are all in the same boat. To begin, this tutorial will be about animating an eyeball blinking, and particularly in my case, an eyeball blinking after the eyeball has already been drawn, since I'm too lazy to draw a new one. We'll start by entering the symbol that we have already created by double-clicking on the drawing itself. Once we have entered the symbol, go ahead and select your eraser tool by hitting E on your keyboard, or selecting Eraser from the tool panel, and just go ahead and cut a line straight through the eye. We'll be erasing part of the face as well, but fear not, we shall be fixing that later. Once you have created that border through the eye, select your brush tool by hitting B on your keyboard, select the color black, and trace a line over the mark you've just erased. As you can see, we have now just reanimated the character's eye, so it almost looks like he's sleepy, half blinking, or just high. Do this process a couple of more times until you've animated half of a full blink cycle. Now that we have half of a blink, it is now time to open this dude's eye again. This step is very simple. From the keyframe in which the eye is completely shut, simply go back one keyframe where the eye is almost closed and select the entire eye with your selection tool. In my case, I had a lot of details in the eye, such as shading and highlights, so I had to make sure everything I wanted was selected. Once your eye is selected, go ahead and hit Ctrl C to copy everything to your clipboard. After that, move forward two keyframes right after the keyframe where the eye is completely shut. Go ahead and delete that second closed eye. Hit Ctrl V to paste your copied eye. Bring out your selection tool and reposition your eye until it fits perfectly within the template that we've just cut out. And again, do this process a couple of times until you've brought your eyeball back full circle. Now it's time to animate the second eye. If you're like me, this step is a bit more tricky, because I drew my eye connecting to the outline of my character's face, which makes it much more difficult to simply copy and paste without accidentally selecting the entire character. But before we get to that, let's initiate the first step that we used when animating the first eye. Select your eraser tool, and cut a line through the eyeball itself. Select your brush tool, and trace over that border, and keep repeating this process until we've completed half a blink. Now, here is where things get tricky. Normally, we would just select the older frames where the eye is open, and simply copy and paste those frames to complete the blink cycle. But in this case, we cannot just simply select the eye because it is connected to the outline of the character's head. In order to select the eye individually, we'll have to improvise a bit. So go ahead and select your lasso tool by hitting L on your keyboard, or navigating over to the tools panel and selecting lasso. Once you have your lasso selected, go ahead and draw an outline around the eye, and then click Ctrl C to copy it to the clipboard. Navigate over to the keyframe after the one containing the closed eye, Bring out that lasso tool once more, draw an outline around that eye, and delete it. Hit Ctrl V to paste your copied eye. Clean up any bit of mess that may have occurred when selecting the eye with the lasso tool, such as shading, color, and texture, and you're good to go. Repeat this process a few more times until you've successfully completed your blink. We was told this here was the richest bank in all of southern Georgetown. You mind sharing your wealth with us, you old broker? And there you have it. 
a completed blink cycle. Yes, I know, it's not the best or the most fluent of blinks, but like I said, I am still very new to animation, and currently, this has been the most efficient technique for me to use thus far. Hope you all enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it! I am excited to grow this channel more over the next few months, and to continue sharing my love and passion for film and animation with those who find my work. Thank you all for watching, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.